Fuyamura Yella FAL Gaiso. Today we're going to talk about the Para FAL. Recently I went to the gun store and picked up a 16 inch DS Arms Congo FAL. And I thought to myself, like, it's going to be a neat addition to my collection. Now, as you can see, this tiny little FAL shoots pretty nice. So far, I had zero malfunctions and I fired roughly 80 to 90 rounds through it. As you can see, it works flawlessly fine. I had no issues with the gas whatsoever. I adjusted the gas system, dialed it down to the setting number two, and it works flawlessly. Now where I encountered an issue was with the front sight. On 25 yards, when I was sighting it in, it was shooting constantly six to seven inches low. And I thought to myself, something must be wrong. Even if I put the front sight all the way down, it would still shoot massively low. Now I contacted DS Arms and they admitted that they installed the wrong front sight and offered me to send me a new one. I, however, didn't want to wait that long and I took the gunsmith's most favorite tool called the Dremel and Dremel down the front side. So it might not look as nice, but it does its job and it works flawlessly. I zero in my rifle 25 yards. I can hit targets up to 200 yards on the range. So I'm perfectly fine with my Dremel down front side. Now there is another minor issue, and that is that I cannot mount a Halbeck device on this FAL. The grooves up front, which are meant to have a bipod installed in the barrel, prevent the clip of the Halbeck device to clip onto the barrel. But we're gonna fix that. Don't worry about it. A friend of mine is about to manufacture or reproduce the Halbeck device and he will make one that fits the 16 inch FAL. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's have a closer look at the Para FAL. So this ladies and gentlemen is my Para FAL setup. I replaced the standard bipod cut handguards with a non bipod cut handguard since I don't run a bipod on any rifle that I own. I think a bipod is a thing from the past and doesn't really serve any purpose nowadays. If you want to rest your rifle on something, just use your assault pack. I installed a sling on it and on the other side of the rifle, I attached a flashlight. It's a Surefire Scout flashlight. I inserted a M-Lock pick continue rail through the holes in the handguard. It is kind of a quick fix, but it does work. So, what are the biggest differences between this FAL and a standard FAL? Like the 21 inch that I also own. As you can see, the biggest difference between a para FAL and a standard FAL is the spring setup. Since there's a folding stock, no spring can go inside the stock. So they redesigned the entire stock setup, compressed the spring, and made everything fit inside the dust cover. They put a end plate to the dust cover so the spring cannot escape and stay underneath it. They also put a hole inside the bolt carrier so the spring can go straight through it. This is the biggest difference 
between a para FAL and a standard FAL. So as you can see, the rear side has only two different settings, 150 meters and 250 meters. That is in contrast to the standard FAL, which has way more settings and can reach out to a further distance. Again, keep in mind that this rifle was designed for more close quarter combat, up to 250, 300 meters. And it was not designed as a long range battle rifle. So let's shoot that thing with a collapsed stock and see how it does. I personally really like the rifle. It is short, it has a collapsible stock, it runs great, it does kick harder. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer if you compress the spring underneath the dust cover. Uh, but apart from that, it is really great. Now I did have some minor issues, like the front sight, but I got that fixed. And the Halbeck device that doesn't fit, we're going to have a fix for that pretty soon. And yeah, apart from those two issues, it is a great rifle. I can highly recommend it. I hope you enjoyed the brief overview of this rifle. We're going to do a more detailed comparison between the FAL, the standard one, with the 21 inch barrel and the para one pretty soon so stay tuned for that so bye donkey donkey that you're some gekeur and tot volgende week see you guys